I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're exploring a terrific book. It is called The Book of Erwin Gould by Erwin Gould. This inspiring memoir takes readers from the tropical island shores of the author's home to his impressive roles in Hollywood blockbusters like Bad Boys 2 and Transporter 2. Join us as we delve into his incredible journey of faith, hard work, and dreams coming true. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight, and we ask viewers like you to support authors like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his amazing book. The links are below this interview. Erwin, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. We appreciate your time. You're looking good. You're sounding good. We're delighted to have you on the show. What made you decide to share your story uh, with the world in this book, the book of Erwin Gould? Well, what inspired me uh, was my grandmother. Uh, I wrote this book uh, in memory of her. I, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, um, and um, I joined a modeling agency um, while I was going to school for business management. Mm. And then and, uh, and, in all of that, um, I I never thought I would end up being in blockbuster movies. I'll, I'll be honest. It started off with a lot of work, the education. It took a lot of journey before these doors started to open. I did commercial. I did print work. I I did um, videos. And and at one casting for the mu a music video, that's how the first movie came to Bad Boys 2. I was there casting for an Aerosmith video. And Michael Bay came out and saw me and he was like, hey, excuse me, sir, are you here for Bad Boys 2? I was like, no, I'm here for Aerosmith video. He was like, listen, I think you should cast for Bad Boys 2. I said, all right, thank you. And instantly I was like, that's Michael Bay. You know, so I called my agency. I told her and she was like, listen, I thought that production was complete i thought it was over with she was like while you're there go ahead and cast for it and i end up doing that so and amazing i Talk end about up being in the right place at the right time you're at a casting for one um production and then all of a sudden michael bay of all people is like hey come over here try out for my movie a huge blockbuster <laughs> so that's amazing yes Yes, 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 it was. So, and then uh, from that, ahead. Transporter 2 came, came along. Yeah. Amazing. No, Amazing. yeah, so I recognized him instantly. Yeah, yeah, I recognized it was Michael Bay. And then um, I booked that job, and then um, Transporter 2 came on, like, maybe a year after that. And then I um, I did Miami Vice with Jamie Foxx and... And also I did um, Pledge This as well. So those are the four blockbusters movies that I've been in. I, I, it took a lot of years to get there. That didn't just happen overnight. It's a lot of years, dedication, and, and trying to constantly open those doors, you know? And then I decided to write a book about it. The book of Erwin Gould, IDG. It, um, it's it's uh, available now. You can download it on the, um, on Amazon. Wonderful, wonderful. It's a great book. It's a cool story uh, that of a self-made man who, like you said, you know, there's so much that goes behind every role that you land in Hollywood uh, that people have no idea how many auditions you go on, how oh, many headshots yes. you send out, how many agents you are in contact with, and how many sometimes there's so many callbacks are involved as well. So it takes a lot of perseverance. Yeah. What helped you most in achieving your success? I, I'll tell you what helped me the, the most. My, um, my business. I, 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 I went to school for business management. I always had a nine to five. I, I worked many nine to five. But in the back of my head, um, that business management um, education always inspired me one day to have my own business because I I knew if I want to pursue the entertainment business when I first got the first um, break in Bad Boys 2, I will have to have a, a, a flexible schedule that allowed me to go on cash then mm -hmm. and be still connected because a nine to five 
and sometimes casting come to the hours is a conflict with doing that. So by me having my small business allow me to schedule my own time, allow me to schedule my uh, um, casting accordingly. Just last week too, I cast for um, essential um, water, and yeah. and I just move my customer around my schedule. I clear that day out, and I was able to continue. You know, it's a, this is work. This is work, sir. This is yeah. I work outside three hundred and sixty five. There's only one percent can not deliberately, sir. Sir, deliberately, I work outside 365. Why? And this is what happened. You come in line with the universe. You come in line with the universe. I've been working outside. I've owned my business from 1998. I've been doing the um, the entertainment business for a long time, you know, for many years. And then one door opened the, the, the other door. And then you, you try to keep that pattern of continuing opening up those doors yeah absolutely so, yeah have the remote uh auditions helped you ever since uh covid the acting world has turned to remote auditions has that been a helpful thing yeah so this so since covid audition is, is done differently now it's done differently it's to networking you know you got to pay a membership you know i'm telling you just la um the other day i have i have other person she's been in, in hollywood for a long time she's an older person okay she's been in some older uh movies but she was like i i don't want to pay the the membership and be on the network i say that that's what happened after covid the casting changed so you got to evolve with with, with time and, and 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 also you know when you get these jobs you got to also as an artist not only because Everything is expensive. The economy is telling you that. We know this, right? So not only the, your agent or your publisher is doing their advertising, but you as an artist too. You got your platform. You do your daily plug-in, your daily advertising. It's, it's a networking together, you know? Exactly. Exactly. There's a lot to it for sure. What was yeah. your favorite production that you worked on? Oh, I'll be I'll be honest. Out of all four blockbuster movie I did, Bad Boys Two was was the, my favorite. It, mm -hmm. it, it is. It's, it, listen, and it's not only that. I'll be honest with you. Um, listen, um, Bad Boys Two people love that franchise. Right. They love that franchise. Okay, and to get that opportunity, I I knew. I I say no way but about it. I like that light switch went off. I took the opportunity i got uh, the honor to work along with will smith martin lawrence i had um uh, michael bay too uh, and i'll take you back too to the first day and and jerry brockheimer the producer okay but the first day we booked the job i'll take you back and then we had training the first day michael bay it was all out there. We're early in the morning, probably like four or five o'clock in the morning. We're having um some training. And I came with my, with, with my work van, which is a green van. And before we started, Michael Bay said the first thing he said, which one of you guys, before we start training, had that van out there? And, and I put my hands out. I said, that would be me. That would be me. That was me who you said to, hey, try to do the, um, the casting for this movie when I told you I was here for the Aerosmith video, you remember, okay? So he said, listen, oh, so you you had something going on before you got this break in Bad Boys 2. And this was all before we started trying. I said, yes, yes, I said, and I shared my, my business, because, but I knew it allowed me to have a flexible schedule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Amazing, amazing. That's very, very cool. And um, what do you hope readers take away from this book? So I want the readers to take away uh, like the, it, it, inspiration, in, inspire, you know, hard work, the, um, the education and, and sacrifice. And, and you, you could open doors, you know, the, the listen, we're in 2024, moving into 2025, the economy it's, it's expensive. Inflation is high. OK, so it's a constant reminder day to day. So the, the, the hard work and, 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 and trying to increase your uh, open, like, like multiple income, mm -hmm. stream of income, 
Yeah. Right? Could inspire them to to think out of the box. Think out of the box. Okay. It's, now we got to think out of the box. Life is forcing you to think out of the box. You know? Yeah. And, and so, I, yeah, I, I hope they take away uh, and be inspired that, hey, hard work, the younger kids do, education, set a goal, go to school, go to college, go to trade school, pick up sports, pick up sports, you know, or or maybe be, be an artist, go, could be a, in an entertainment business also, you know? Absolutely. Great advice. Perseverance, hard work. Uh, multiple income streams in this economy is needed. That's for sure. How important has your faith been in your life? Yes. So I'll be honest. If, if I didn't have God in my life, none of this would happen. No if but about it. Listen, I'm not a pastor. My, I, I'm a grandson of a pastor. My grandfather was a pastor. I grew up in church and, and, my, and, 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 and in a family that went to church and I knew for at four years old what I'm for what God meant to me. Mm-hmm. You know, so you go through life and you go grow growing up and you have that faith and that belief. Okay. But but hard work, because here's why. Here's why. I know I realized, like I said, from 1998 doing this this year, that God gave you 365. And if you work that each day. You will see how he, he he will, and he give you health, health and strength, health. Okay, health and num- after COVID to just go back there, health health is number one to the ten power. Okay, exactly. it is, it is, uh, because a lot of people are not healthy enough to go to work or maintain um, a day to day active life, and it, um, after COVID, so health is num- number one. But faith and having God lead the way, I think. Going to church and going to work. You see, going to church, things change, things kind of slow down. You know, having faith with God, or just you don't even have to go to church because sometimes health is an issue now and COVID is on a on a higher end now. So you could have faith and and read your Bible right by, by yourself, you know? Mm. And, Absolutely. and have that faith. faith is with him. Very important to give you strength, to give you yes. vision, to keep you going. Our beliefs are very, very important. The book we've been talking about today is the book of Erwin Gould. It's an amazing book, an inspiring memoir that takes readers from the tropical island shores of Irwin's home to the impressive roles he has landed in Hollywood blockbusters, such as Bad Boy 2's and Transporter 2. Uh, it's great work in this book. It'll show you and you will learn from Irwin's incredible journey, a journey of faith, hard work, and dreams coming true. Erwin, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Logan, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. To the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time until next time on Spotlight.